For a long time now, I've been wanting to make a 100% primitive bow drill kit using only natural materials that I can find in Southwest Ohio where I live. What I was missing though was a strong enough natural fiber bow cord. Well, this past winter, I discovered dogbane. Here's a few stalks of dogbane that I harvested. This is a small sample of what I've got collected down in my basement. After I learned about dogbane, I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to identify it, where to find it. I went on some hikes, did a lot of harvesting, watched more videos on how to extract the fibers and uh, do some reverse wrapping and make a, a nice strong bow cord. What I ended up with was this nice bow drill cord. It's about four feet long. It's maybe a quarter of an inch in diameter. It's four ply, reverse wrapped, uh, and it's super, super strong. Today we're going to give this a test drive and christen it with its very first fire. Stay tuned. The best videos I've found for making reverse strap cordage using dogbane fibers were produced by a fellow named Dave McIntyre. Dave uh, won the second season of the History Channel's TV series called Alone, and he attributed a lot of his success to his ability to make a lot of reverse strap cordage from natural fibers very quickly. And I can't say that I followed all of Dave's tips and tricks exactly to the letter, but I did find his videos really helpful. And I've posted links to them down in the description below. Now, YouTube doesn't need another video on how to make reverse strap cordage, but I did want to show you that I made my bow cord fair and square. I'll try to keep it short. Here goes. <laughs> Okay, before I christen this 
new bow drill kit uh, with its very first fire, I thought I'd show you the various pieces. First thing is my spindle. It's just a, about a three and a half, maybe four inch piece of goldenrod, about three eighths of an inch in diameter. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to use wildflower stalks and spindles. My fireboard is a piece of sycamore. Sycamores grow all over the place around here, especially near creeks and rivers and such. I picked up a sycamore limb laying along a creek bed about a year ago and put it in my basement and I cut this fireboard out of it. This is a, a stone thunderhead that my friend Mike Finelli gave to me several weeks ago. A few months ago, we had an unseasonably warm day uh, in the early winter and Mike and I went on a hike and we came across a mostly dry creek bed and we, we stepped down into it and looked around to see if we could find stones that were suitable for making thunderheads from. And Mike found this one and he also found uh, a piece of chert. He took those two stones home with him and he kind of wore a natural divot opened it up just a little bit, smoothed it out, and like all of my stone thunderheads, the more you use them, the slicker they get. Highly recommended. My uh, bird's nest is just some uh, red cedar bark that I kind of crumpled up. The outer pieces here is uh, some strips of the inner bark from a cottonwood limb that I dragged home. I tend to drag limbs home with me. And here is my fire bow and my dog bane bow cord. My bow itself is uh, a piece of honeysuckle. It's about 20 inches long. It's a little bigger than a lot of the bows I've been using recently. I just kind of shaped it with my camp knife and I cut some V notches into it with, my, uh, with the saw blade of my Swiss Army knife. The way I've kind of attached my bow cords, I, I just tied a simple overhand knot in one end and I lay that into that notch and I wrapped it around down the bottom. So I've done some practicing with this new bow, bow cord and what I found was it, uh, it stretched quite a bit when I was first using it. Um, I probably made about a half a dozen embers with it now and all of the stretch has sort of worked its way out. When I was first playing with it, I'd get a few strokes into it and uh, the cord would start slipping around my spindle. But after I adjusted it a few times and took out the slack, it's been working great. Anyhow, that's my 100% Ohio Primitive Natural Bow Drill Kit. And uh, I'm gonna take some time now and go get set up and christen this guy with its very first fire. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, let's give this kit a try. The wind's a little gusty today. Got a nice big ember though.
Mother Nature took care of that for me without a whole lot of effort on my part. Well, this 100% Ohio Primitive Bow Drill Kit works just great. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.